of the G5 Sahel countries, Burkina Faso, Chad, Mali, Mauritania, and Niger face a number of challenges. A new report from the Institute for Security Studies uses the International Futures Modeling Platform to analyze the likely development trajectory of these five countries to 2040. It compares the region's baseline development trajectory with a positive desert flower scenario, a dystopian Sahelistan scenario, and presents recommendations for the future. More than 40% of the estimated 81 million people in the G5 Sahel countries live in extreme poverty. Over 30% have no access to clean water. About 80% have no access to improved sanitation facilities and only 22% had access to electricity in 2018. Niger and Mali have the poorest educational attainment levels globally, while Niger and Chad perform the worst on most human development indicators. Additionally, agricultural production is very low and climate change is contributing to mounting pressures on the region. Instability is rife. Decades of poor governance and short-sighted interventions by external actors have led to an increase in radical violent extremism and organized crime. The population of the region is expected to nearly double by 2040. This will impede income growth and government's ability to provide services such as education, water, sanitation, and health. The ISS analysis indicates that agriculture has the greatest potential to reduce extreme poverty and improve food security in the region. In the ambitious but reasonable desert flower scenario, improved agriculture could accelerate economic growth in the G5 countries significantly. As a result, by 2040, over 29 million fewer people are likely to live in extreme poverty and food import dependency can reduce by 35% when compared to the current path. A more rapid demographic transition, although slow moving, is also important in reducing poverty, increasing incomes and improving livelihoods. None of these projections will occur without better governance and more efficient service delivery. These factors are fundamental to addressing the multidimensional challenges in the region. The G5 Sahel countries have abundant opportunities in tourism, culture, and natural resources, particularly in renewable energy that can spur economic diversification and human development. Although the international community can help, national governments must take the lead. Read the full report on the desert flower scenario as well as the contrary dystopian Sahelistan scenario on the ISS website at www.issafrica.org.